Julian Assange has been denied bail from a South London jail after arguing he's at risk of catching COVID-19. The WikiLeaks founder is being held in the British security Belmarsh prison as he fights an extradition request by the United States. His lawyer told the court the Australian had a history of chest and tooth infections, putting him in a higher risk category. But the judge ruled the coronavirus pandemic doesn't provide grounds for his release. So as of last night, uh, 200 uh, uh, inmates from our jail system have been released. That uh, action last night uh, allowed us to hit a major, major milestone. And none of us expected this crisis, but one thing that has come out of it is that our jail population continues to decline. So that's New York City Mayor Bill de Blasio touting the release of hundreds of prisoners as part of an effort to combat the spread of the virus. This is a trend that's happening in cities and counties all over the country. In New Jersey, hundreds of low impact, quote, low impact nonviolent offenders have been released in order to prevent the spread of this disease. Sean Golden is the sheriff of Monmouth County, and he joins me now. Sheriff, thank you very much for joining us tonight. Um, Phil Murphy, the governor of New Jersey, called this a groundbreaking program. Do you consider this a groundbreaking program? Well, listen, if, if you consider it groundbreaking when we're releasing inmates that have uh, records of assaulting officers and resisting arrest and uh, some uh, sex offenses, failure to register uh, for sex offender type offenses, uh, then I, I guess you could call it groundbreaking. Listen, we. Uh, across the state of New Jersey uh, received a uh, letter from the ACLU on the 20th. Uh, certainly uh, went to an order to show cause immediately in the courts. It was fast-tracked uh, over the weekend. By the 23rd, we had to have a list of offenders, the quote-unquote low-impact nonviolent offenders, to be released out into the communities. And when you looked at that list, here in Monmouth County, it was 6,400s in the state of New Jersey, as you know, almost uh, 900. And uh, you looked at that list and it had some of those offenses on it. And that's why, you know, I thought it was absurd to release uh, inmates that are still fulfilling a sentence of where law enforcement were injured uh, in particular cases. Uh, one was an assault on a canine dog. The other was throwing fluids at a law enforcement officer for resisting arrest. Uh, again, others failure to register as sex offenders. And I'm sure when we released them in a sarcastic way, uh, they went out and registered Martha. So. Um, you know, this this is an exploitation right. of uh, a policy that uh, certainly, um, you know, was pushed with an agenda and rapidly through uh, the Supreme Court here in New Jersey. All right. So right now, do these facilities have a COVID-19 outbreak problem? Well, here, here's the here's the thing. Uh, our facility does not. We have no positive test cases. We do have two that are in quarantine and isolation in a different pod. Um, we went into what we call uh, the policy and procedures for communicable diseases weeks ago, not a lot like other, jail, uh, other jails did uh, around the state of New Jersey, not allowing uh, visitation and going to video visitation and, and free phone calls for the inmates, uh, having special visitation for their attorneys, uh, checking them outside with temperatures and questions and, and assessment before we bring them inside. And then when we do bring them inside in the book and they end up in a separate uh, pod in quarantine for 14 weeks. Uh, the, the thing here is none of the other local jails, the Warden's Association, the Sheriff's Association, none were consulted before this even went to the show cause order. Uh, luckily, the prosecutors had a had a contest piece where they can contest some of these inmates being released out in our communities. I, I mean, I think that's amazing. Uh, and, you know, when you think about the fact that there's going to be a lot of pressure on communities with a lot of issues that are going on with this virus and also with the economy. It seems like a difficult time, and it sounds well, like you in your case, facility Martha, in, in you had one, a pretty good case, system in we, place. We had, we have most of the, them do, and in one case, we had a uh, release on Tuesday. He was arrested uh, for shoplifting and theft on um, Wednesday. So, this is what's this is what's happening here. Yeah. Um, it's certainly a drain on our public sense. safety resource. To worry about this uh, during this crisis, and it's, it's definitely yeah. an exploitation. So. Thank you to all our first Sheriff, responders thank you. and healthcare uh, providers. Yeah, good to have you with us. And thank you to all of, uh, all of our folks on the front lines there in New Jersey and elsewhere. And uh, you're doing a great job. Thank you, sir. Thank you. Thank so